Hi everybody, we're going to do a Q&A. So today we're going to talk about the Armory's working from home capsule wardrobe. Uh, this is an idea that was proposed to me by two friends, one in tech and one who's a writer. And uh, they said, you know, with a lot of people working from home, you should actually make a more kind of structured presentation around like what is good for when you're working from home. Uh, so this is our stab at it. Uh, you know, the fundamental thing about the working from home wardrobe is that it's comfortable. You know, so it's really all about like materials that are a little bit softer or have a little bit of give. It's about designs that have a little bit of give, that give you a little bit more mobility, especially when you're sitting down. And most importantly, since a lot of people are on Zoom calls, it looks good. Like it makes you very presentable when you are on a call. So let's start by looking at the bottoms. What do we wear on the bottom half of our body? Uh, this is my first pick. So this is the Armory's Sport Chino. It is a machine washable chino. Um, as in, you can just take it and throw it into the washing machine and it won't, you know, fly into a million pieces. It'll be all good. Um, it is a tapered but not slim chino. And it has a little bit more excess here behind the thigh than most trousers do. Um, I frankly like the look of it. I don't really like very slim trousers. But, you know, especially having that excess here, when you're sitting, it's just so much more comfortable. You know, like if you imagine as you sit, all that fabric on the back of your trouser has to get used up as you've lifted your leg up, right? And if you don't have a little bit of excess on the back, all it means is that you are just gonna be taking the fabric from the front. Like the front part of your trouser is just gonna get very like tight and grabby and it's not comfortable. So that is why we like the sport chino, especially when you're sitting down a lot. Um, Sport Chino comes in a bunch of colors. This season we have in the olive, which is what I'm wearing right now, or we also have the beige. But what other trouser options do we have? Well, we also have the Nigel Keyborn Army Chino. So that is a straight leg chino, a little bit fuller fit, also great indoors. Um, this is a Hong Kong exclusive, and then New York has another version of the Army Chino that's made in the USA, um, and that is available in our New York stores or on the website. This one is a Hong Kong exclusive, so it's only available in our Hong Kong stores. Sorry, it's so complicated. Uh, there's also this, the Nigel Kayborn jeans. Uh, this is our five pocket denim with Nigel Kayborn. Uh, it is a one wash raw denim, but actually gets much, 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 much softer if you've worn it in a little bit. Um, I actually would recommend this indoors, surprisingly. I normally am not a fan of denim, you know, on planes or inside because it's just so like stiff. But with these, I'm more than happy to make the exception. They're very comfortable. So consider that as well. And let's move on. What do you wear on top? Uh, I like Oxford shirts. I like Oxford shirts because they're a little bit softer than poplin shirts. Uh, I think they break in really nicely. You know, a poplin shirt tends to be pretty like pretty inert, pretty stable. You know, it's always got that dry, crisp hand. Uh, whereas an Oxford shirt, like, breaks down in a really nice way and it gets like a little bit more fuzzy. It's a wonderful thing to wear if you're indoors all day long. My favorite actually would probably be the Drake's one. I really like the Drake's button down shirts. Um, the particular Oxfords that we use at Drake's uh, are chunkier. They have a little bit more body and uh, as they break in, they are really wonderful to wear indoors. So check those out. Um, other options, I also like the Armory's polo shirts. So we have two, we have the spread collar version like this, and then we have the button down collar version like this. We do them actually in short and long sleeve versions. And what is great about these polo shirts is that we make them with Ascot Chang, which is a very good shirt maker in Hong Kong. And we actually put a shirt collar on it. So, you know, whereas like with a lot of other polos, like the collar might not necessarily stand around the neck, um, these absolutely do. You know, the idea was that you could wear them underneath, say, a jacket, and they would behave much like a dress shirt would. They would stand up properly and they would frame the face. And, you know, especially when you're on a Zoom call and all you're really seeing is this, the face matters a lot. And you know what? Not just the face, the neck and the shoulder line matters a lot too. And with the right collar, it makes a huge difference on your appearance in a call. So check them out, the Armory Polo shirts. Okay, moving on. What do you layer on top? You know, we are getting to a point where it's cool enough worldwide that uh, you could be wearing a sweater, jacket, whatever, right? So let's start with this. Again, one of my favorites, this is the 3PB, the three pocket blues on. Uh, we do it ready to wear in say like heavy cottons or in fancy wools. 
uh, but we also do it made to order. So if you had like an idea for a 3PD in mind, like let's say you wanted one in Tweed, we could absolutely do that. And in fact, that's what I've done here. So this is Simon Crompton's um, Escorial Tweed. So it's a very, very soft type of tweed. Uh, it's in a beautiful olive color. And you know, for tweeds, because the fabric is like a little sticky, um, we can also line it. So this one also has a lining, so it just slides over your clothing very easily. What is great about this particular model when you're working from home is firstly, like it's short, right? So it doesn't get in the way um, kind of around your hips and your butt when you're sitting down, uh, but it looks good in the shoulders and in the neck. It's got a collar. So again, you're getting that framing effect from having a collar and uh, it feels appropriate. You know, like that was the whole point of the 3PB is that it was really meant to be kind of like a light to medium weight layering piece you can't sit at your desk in an overcoat, it would look ridiculous, but you can sit at your desk in something like this and it would actually be very appropriate and very comfortable, you know? So that's 3PB for you. Um, let's look at one other option. Another favorite of mine, this is the City Hunter. So the City Hunter is, and I apologize, I'm gonna contradict the advice I gave previously a little bit. The City Hunter is like a jacket length jacket. It's done in wool jersey. It's made in Japan and it is very, very comfortable and stretchy. You know, like it's in wool jersey. So it has a lot of give across the back. It has a lot of mobility in the arms. Uh, it has virtually no shoulder seam. So they use this special type of construction called a TPS seam. And the TPS seam basically allows the shoulder to feel like it's actually just one big piece of cloth rather than two pieces joined together. Like you don't feel the stiffness of having a normal seam in that section because of the TPS seam. Um, so I am a huge fan of this for working from home. And actually this is, this is like a little side thing, but the City Hunter has kind of turned into like the watch guy's jacket. Like there's a lot of really interesting watch people now who wear it around, which I'm like very proud of. Anyway, uh, moving on, we also have the Rocky Mountain Featherbed Gilets. Uh, I really like these, you know, it's a short-ish and warm-ish piece of clothing. Like they actually call these the six month gilet. Um, so it's called six month because it is filled with down, lightweight down, and uh, you can use it as a layering piece. So you can use it underneath a jacket or even over a jacket if you wanted to be a little bit more out there. Um, and it's not so warm that you couldn't wear it in spring. It's actually very versatile and you can keep it in circulation in your closet for a long, long time. We do it in this olive polyester tweed, which is a really interesting material. And we also do it in this blue nylon, which again is great. And you know, the other thing is having no arms on this just gives you a little bit of extra mobility around the shoulders. And when you're at your desk, it is most welcome. So Rocky Mountain Featherbed 6 month gilet. Uh, moving on, let's look at some knitwear. So for the knitwear, uh, I wanna start with this. This is definitely my favorite knitwear piece, the one that I wear the most, um, partly because it's also very Hong Kong appropriate. It is our sleeveless cardigan. So our sleeveless cardigan is cut much shorter than everyone else's cardigan. It was really designed for a high-waisted trouser, but you know, a side benefit of that is that also, because it's so short, you don't feel like it's getting in the way um, when, it's, when you're wearing it, and you don't feel like it's kind of uh, getting in your way around your hips and your butt. Do it in a bunch of different colors. We do it in cashmere. We do it in merino wool. The merino wool is a little bit warmer, um, and the oh, sorry, the cashmere is a little bit warmer, and the merino wool is a nice balance all year round. So there you go. Um, the sleeveless cardigan, and then let's move on to the crew neck. So we do these great crew necks. They're simple. We also cut the body short on this. Um, we actually cut the body short basically on all of our knitwear. Like it's kind of one of our signature things. Uh, I really like our crew neck because it is not so tight as to be, uh, you don't feel shrink wrapped in it. You know, it's actually fluffy. It's got a little bit of body. Like it is a very, very comfortable piece to wear and feel like you've been cocooned into it. I highly recommend it. We do it again in a lot of different colors. I actually really like the mustard, but somewhere between a mustard and an egg yolk. Um, but for more conventional taste, there's also the navy. And then let's end on the shawl collar cardigan. Uh, also partly because my friend who recommended me do this um, 
working from home wardrobe thing likes this combination a lot. So shawl collar cardigan, which is an absolute classic as Mr. Rogers famously popularized. Um, we do it in two materials, we do it in cashmere. The cashmere is super luxe, super soft, absolutely like a wonderful, wonderful thing to be wearing all day. You know, in fact, funny story, my old boss, I used to work at HSBC a long time ago, and my old boss used to wear this at his desk all the time. And I was looking like, oh, that guy looks really great. But he was like this very tall Englishman, um, so it kind of suited his whole thing too. Anyway, shawl collar cardigan in cashmere, really, really wonderful thing to wear as well. You know, keeps you warm. It's got actually very deep armholes, um, which, you know, on a tailored piece is not a good thing, but on a knitwear piece is not bad. You know, it's actually very comfortable to have that little bit of excess under the arm like that. Um, so a great thing to wear at a desk. Cashmere, or we also do it in lamb's wool. And, you know, the lamb's wool is less warm, which might actually be a good thing, and also comes in these very vivid colors, which I really like. Like, I really love this kind of carrot color. I think it's awesome. Alrighty, that was a long video, but thanks for putting up with me. Um, that is our Armory Working From Home capsule wardrobe. Uh, almost everything is available online, and we will have a separate collection page set up for this if you're interested in having a look at it. If you have any suggestions or you feel like there's other things that belong in this capsule wardrobe, please feel free to leave a comment, and thank you for watching. You know, I have to film a little addendum um, to the video we just shot. I wanted to mention, as part of our working from home collection, the Armory mugs. Um, the Armory mugs are stainless steel double walled mugs. We do them in a tumbler style like this or a mug style like this. And I kind of swear by them. Um, they're made in Japan. They keep things cold or hot forever and ever and ever. We put a very classy Armory logo on there that's not too visible. Um, this smaller one, actually, I use a lot for uh, beer. This one's great for beer. And this one's great for coffee. Um, or in a pinch, I've also used it for wine, which someone will probably yell at me for. So along with all the clothing, please think about our mugs. All right, thanks for watching.